Hi everyone. Now we are going to discuss about the differences between active immunity and passive immunity. The immunity topic was well discussed in immunology subject so you can go through that video. So here first of all what is meant by immunity. So immunity is the state of resistance exhibited by the host against two toxic molecules microorganisms and foreign cells is going to be defined as immunity and this immunity is classified into two types one is going to be of uh, innate immunity another one is the acquired immunity and the differences between those two are going to be discussed in another video go through it and here the acquired immunity is again classified into two types one is active immunity another one is the passive immunity so what is the definition of this active immunity? When an individual is naturally or artificially exposed to infections or antigens, it results in active functioning of the immune system. So whereas passive immunity is in which the antibodies and or immunocompetent cells are transferred from one host to another that is from the donor to the recipient so that is going to be called as passive immunity then occurrence this active immunity is going to be induced by infection or by contacts with the immunogen the best example is the vaccination method that is vaccines then coming to the passive immunity it is going to be confirmed by introduction of ready-made antibodies then come in the response time and immunity active immunity is going to develop only after a lag period that means it takes time to develop but passive immunity is going to be effective immediately here there will be no lag period and the immunity that is going to involve in the active immunity is both humoral and cell mediated immunity in the passive immunity the immunity is going to be conferred only by the ready-made antibodies that were transferred from one host to the another then what about the immune response the actual immunity is going to have the longevity that is it is going to have more durable and effective whereas the passive immunity is going to be short-lived and less effective then immunological memory in the active immunity, it is present due to the presence of memory cells and subsequent challenge with booster dose is going to be more effective. Whereas in the passive immunity, there will be no immunological memory and the subsequent administration of antibody is less effective due to immune elimination. Then coming to the another character negative phase. In the active immunity, after antigenic stimulus, negative phase may occur due to antigenic combining with any pre-existing antibody in the blood. But in the passive immunity, there is no negative phase. Then components. What are the different types of components that are present in the active immunity? So the components are T cells, B cells and antigen presenting cells are involved in the active immunity. Whereas in the passive immunity, no immune cells are involved as antibody is preformed. Then coming to the suitability, in the active immunity, that is active immunity is not suitable for protection of immunodeficient people. Whereas passive immunity is applicable or useful in immunodeficient, that is mainly the severe immunocompromised diseases or the persons. Then the use of active immunity is very effective for prophylaxis of diseases where it will increase the body resistance whereas the passive immunity that is the artificial passive immunity is less effective as a post exposure remedy that means it is going to be mainly used for treatment of acute infection then coming to the natural acquirement the active immunity is going to have the natural acquirement means it is going to arise naturally when an individual is exposed to an antigen or pathogen. So in the passive immunity, a fetus is going to receive the antibodies from the mother across the placenta or when a, 
that is the breastfeeding infant ingest antibodies in the mother's milk that is going to be through the cholesterol. So this is the natural mode by which the active immunity and the passive immunity is going to acquire. Then artificial acquirement, the active immunity artificial acquirement is going to be conferred artificially by means of vaccine that is the vaccination method. Whereas the passive immunity is going to be conferred artificially by administration of preformed antibodies that is ready made antibodies. Then coming to the secondary immune response in the active immunity. A much faster and stronger secondary immune response is established whereas in the passive immunity absence of secondary immune response is occurred. Then coming to the adverse effect in the active immunity it can be implicated in autoimmune diseases and allergies but generally does not have any side effects. But passive immunity a condition called serum sickness can result from exposure to anti serum. The best examples of the active immunity, natural active immunity is going to be of producing antibodies in response to exposure to a pathogenic infection such as measles or cold. Artificial uh, active immunity is going to produce the antibodies in response to control exposure to an attenuated pathogen that is vaccination. Whereas the examples of passive immunity Natural passive immunity is going to have the receiving antibodies from another organism by natural method that is from mother to the fetus or from mother to the newborn. Then artificial passive immunity examples are receiving the manufactured antibodies via external donor that is external delivery blood transfusion of monoclonal antibodies. So these are all the differences between the active and passive immunity. Thank you.